Howdy. Today we're going to read 3rd Nephi chapter 24. And luckily it's kind of short. Uh, I say luckily because as much as I'd like you to feast upon spiritual things, I need to do my homework. And this is one of the weeks where I work very long days. In fact, I just got home. Yeah. And, uh, anyway. So before I begin, if I pause and say a prayer, ask for discernment so you can totally understand this the way you're supposed to. And I, uh, also invite you to check out the links in the description to download the, the Gospel Library app for your Windows and or iOS device. Or follow the link to follow along online. Or find the link to request your own physical copy of the Book of Mormon, not like this one. Or you can email me at thegospeltruth.waffles.gmail.com and then you'll get a copy from me. And if you get a copy from me, uh, the church won't bother you, the missionaries won't come to your house, I mean, unless you want them to. I mean, I'm happy to send them to you, but the uh, the bonus that is involved with getting a copy from me is that it'll be in the language of your choice, which I guess you can also do online. Uh, but you also get my testimony on the inside cover, the outside cover, anywhere there's available space. And I encourage you to take notes and pray about the stuff that doesn't make sense to you and then reread or watch this video again or talk to a missionary or a Mormon and I also encourage you to check out General Conference this weekend and um, if there is a conference talk from any of the previous conferences that you'd like to analyze with me I'm happy to do that just send me an email with with the talk and we will we'll, we'll tear into it and, and figure out what it's supposed to be all about but of course, this weekend we can also analyze those talks. Uh, I would be happy to analyze one as it's given if anybody wants to do that. I mean, I think that'd be pretty exciting. But yeah, so check it out. Third Nephi chapter 24. And it came to pass that he commanded them that they should write the words which the Father had given unto Malachi, which he should tell unto them. And it came to pass that after they were written, he expounded them. And these are the words which he did tell unto them, saying, Thus said the Father unto Malachi, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. But who may have a... I'm sorry, I don't know where I came, where I got have from. But who may abide the day of his coming, and who shall stand when he appeareth? Oh, that was a question, not a statement. Sorry, that was a question. For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap. I don't know what fuller's soap is. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi, and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, and as in former years. And I will come near unto you to judgment, and I will, I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, and against the adulterers, and against false swearers, and against those that oppress the hireling and his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger, and fear not me, saith the Lord of hosts. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your fathers ye are gone away from mine ordinances, and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye say, Wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. Yet ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation, bringing all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the fields, saith the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed, for ye shall be a delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. 
Your words have been stout against me, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, What have we spoken against thee? Ye have said it is vain to serve God. What doth it profit that we have kept his ordinances, and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts? And now we call the proud happy. Yea, they that mock wickedness are set up. Yea, they that tempt God are even delivered. Then they that fear the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels. And I will spare them as man spareth his own son that serveth him. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. All right, so thanks for watching. And uh, I will be editing the description a little bit later with a link to the to the general conference and i know i've said that before and i've forgotten to do it but i won't forget to do it this time it's super important to me that you guys check it out and yeah all right later